couldn't hold up, so he goes around to strike out against Herman. Laced towards the gap, right center field, and LaCastro bangs it off the wall. Gorman is waved home, the 30th double of the year, results in and out of the play. Gorman saying he's safe. Yankees are heading off the field. He leads off the bottom of the fourth with the ground ball smothered. A throw to first base in time, and Nolan gets Arenado. The Yankee defense so vastly improved, and he's a big reason why. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Got him. 97 miles an hour as O'Neill strikes out. I'm trying to limit the damage. I'm sure the St. Louis Cardinals got the same scattering report we did that that split is a big swing and miss pitch. Well, that is looped to shallow right. Judge coming on to make the catch for the second out. A wry smile from Aaron Judge and some gratitude from Garrett Cole. This is a tough play, a sinking line drive from Ty France, but Aaron Judge doing a good job getting down there with that ball, keeping his feet up under him. Crawford just lays it out into left, but look at Ben Intendi with the diving catch. The Yankees flashing some leather early. And this is a good pitch from Garrett Cole now to have and a nice piece of hitting by J.P. Crawford, but you see Ben Attendi out at left, good read, good jump, getting his eyes down low at that ball, making a very nice diving catch for his pitcher, Garrett Cole. And when you're facing an ace, you're facing another ace, you need plays like that behind you. No, 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 this is, they're not that long. <laughs> that is golfed into right center, hits over to cut it off. He's deep though. So Frazier's going for two and he is gonna be out by a mile. Aaron Hicks eliminates Frazier for the first out of the fourth. And for all the people at home, this is one of the more difficult plays as an outfielder, ranging over to your glove side. Fielding this ball clean is one thing and then turning, spinning, and Aaron Hicks showing off the, the arm of old. Jumps up the first pitch and pops it up. It's coming back on Trevino, and he holds on to make the play. Oh, he had to dance around the pine tar rag and all the other accoutrements in the, in the uh, on deck circle and somehow made the play. Foul territory, the wind, it affects the baseball where it, nothing's easy. And, and again, when you're a catcher, you get your mask on and you are, you're dodging everything from the on deck circle. It's a really good play by Trevino. His divisional struggles have been at the forefront of the issues. Duran pokes one off the end of the bat. Diving attempt and catch. Andrew Benintendi, who's done that a time or two in this ballpark, does it in a Yankees uniform here. Wow. When you work hard at it, you can do it. This ball lays to center field. LaCastro going back, turning around at the wall. Oh, Tim LaCastro with a web gem taking away extra bases. Oh, look at that right hand feeling for it. Feels for the wall, makes the catch. Jaron Duran, you're still 0 for the season against the Yankees. 1-1. One, one. Line drive, caught by Ikea, flips to second, it's a double play. So a Rosarena hit it right on the screws, but a quick move to the glove side, in the air, snared by Connor Falefa, and he flips to Torres for two. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And a line drive caught by Rizzo, diving grab to the glove side. Nice play. And there too. And that's that's also very good because if he misses that, uh, even if Labor goes and gets it. Lined into center field. Here comes Floreal. And he makes the play. A shoosting grab. Told you he has defensive skills out there. Got a good jump. Came in quickly. And got it just off the grass for the final out. Here at home. And Montes gets out of the jam with a called strike three. To the drawn-in shortstop, Cabrera comes home, and they get Gurriel easily. 
Making his fifth start of the season against Toronto. 3 and 1 with a 2.05 ERA the previous four. First pitch swinging from Gurriel. Shot the other way. Pushes Judge back to the wall. He leaps and he makes the catch. That's Cabrera in right. His third game in the majors. Oswaldo Cabrera does a great job knowing where the wall is. You see him get back and he leaps up and a great Yankee fan backs away from him to be able to make that catch. Welcome to the Bronx. <laughs> he is pure fun, pure energy. Just doesn't seem phased at all about the fact that he's playing on such a big stage. <laughs> the big curveball was a weapon early on. Fly ball, right field going back judge. He's on the track. He leaps. And he makes the play. Oh, what a play by Judge. Well, we got back-to-back -back plays in right field yesterday with Cabrera, today with Aaron Judge. Maybe trying to, to get the bat head out a little bit earlier. You make some adjustments, but. Jackie Bradley Jr. pops it up. Long run for Cabrera. And he made the play. Oh, he made the play. Yeah, what a, a great play. I mean, knowing that you're going to hit the tarp, and it looks like he smacked his head going forward. But Here's the 2 2. A high pop. Foul off first. Rizzo gives it a look and makes a catch. Wow. He made a backhand catch, fell into the screen, protecting the fans, and hung on. Grounded in the hole, backhanded by Cabrera, the jump throw to first, got him! Oh, what a play by the rookie! Well, we've seen Cabrera at third base, we've seen him in right field, and now we're getting a good look at shortstop. The Derek Jeter jump throw across the diamond. And the one thing Cabrera is going to learn very quickly, just get it over there to Anthony Rizzo and he'll finish it off. Swing and a miss. Four strikeouts in a row for Montas. Yankee crowd getting on Alonso. Once again, good mix of pitches. He got ahead with the two seamer in and then goes upstairs with a four seamer. And Alonso. Polar bear ain't happy. Alonso breaks his back across his knees as he goes to the dugout. That's a strong man. The 0 1. And that's a base hit to right field. One run scores. Here comes Baby. Here's the throw. Here's the play. He throw by Cabrera to get Beatty with what would have been the tying run. Well, the kid just keeps pressing on defense. And that is textbook. A bullet, one hopper right on the money. There's a ground ball right side. Diving stop by Torres. Fires to first. Got him. Beautiful play by Glaber Torres taking a hit away from Allen. A light hitting shortstop slaps one the other way. Full extension. Would Glaber be able to come up with the accurate throw? A good stretch by DJ. A nice way to start off the third inning. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. That'll do it. Yankees hold on and they win three to two. Driven into deep left center field on the run is Judge on the track at the wall. He makes the play. Clint at night and you're going to go opposite field. You're going to have to crush a baseball because Aaron Judge times that leap perfectly right in front of the wall. Makes it look easy. Herman deals. Line to left field. It is caught by Ben Intendi. And making the play before it hits the grass to end the inning. Herman likes it. We go to the eighth. Nothing, nothing. Runner goes. Pitch is high. Throw to second. Got him. 11 stolen bases, nine caught stealing. High fly ball, left center. Hicks back. He's on the track. And he leaps to make the play in front of the wall. Trout hustles back to first, two away. Otani drives it to left center, and you're thinking it's so warm here. Trevino getting loose. Peralta will throw that change up any time and any count. And he's wearing Jamison Tyone's number 50. Yeah, he's usually number 56.
Very odd. Just realized he's got the wrong jersey on. Yeah, it has to be that. Yeah, they have the real jersey there. When you put your jersey on, right, in a clubhouse, did you look to see if the number was right, or you just you, assumed it's you in your clubhouse? You just assumed it's yeah. your jersey. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, he's got the right jersey on, and he's hoping not to have to use it. If Peralta retires McKinnon, that's the ball game. 